So you're allergic to peanuts? <laughs> That's <laughs> embarrassing. You heard, you heard you had a horror story on a on a plane. Oh my god, once. yeah. Oh, I've always had that question. You know how they give out nuts and peanut butter snacks? Yeah. Do they have to know if people are allergic or like dogs? I think they've like, limited. Do they know if somebody's allergic to dogs on the plane? You know? Yeah, I don't know. That's a good one. Like the dog one is a good one because yeah. our people are allergic to that. Is it? Is it if you come in contact and touch it, or you have to physically like I ingest have to physically it? Eat it. Oh, sure. Okay. It's not airborne. Thank God, that would be a nightmare. How yeah. old were you when you realized there was a problem? I realized I had a problem when I was three. Oh no! Oh boy! <laughs> oh no! Mommy Mom made you a peanut me butter Sammy. Literally that, oh, and I man. ate it, and I had to go to the ER. Isn't um, that terrifying? There is a moment where you have to like realize, <laughs> yeah. Like, and there's only one way to find it. Yeah. Here we go. You could have been backpacking in Yosemite, like <laughs> miles away First from a nut. hospital. Yeah, and I guarantee you, you're gonna try peanuts before you end up being able to backpack Yosemite. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna feed my baby everything as soon as it pops out, <laughs> just so I can get out of the way. Do you like this? Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> Or do the needles what like the doctors do? Do? No. Do, you, do, you have, do you have an EpiPen on you at all times? I should, but I, I keep it at my house. Okay. I think you're and old enough I, now I bring it. Know. I bring it with me. Exactly. That was the problem, especially when I came out to LA because vegan culture is really big out here. Oh, yeah. And all vegan substitutes, like almond cheese, oh, cashew. cashew cheese, yeah. almond Ooh. milk, like everything. That's so scary. any nut. You can't have all of them. All wow. of them. I've never had Reese's peanut butter cups. Or oh my god! Snickers. <laughs> it's I'm so it. sorry. It is, <laughs> it is the end of the world. It kind of is. Well, but don't make her feel bad. <laughs> no, I will make her feel bad. No, everyone's like, really? They're like, it tastes so good. I'm like, I had no idea. Uh, okay, thank you. How how often do you think about your nut allergy? Like every day. <laughs> every day. Like that has every to be day. kind of annoying. Like I. A lot you know, of things have nuts. When every you go time to I eat food. When Every you go to restaurants, time. you're like scared. You're like, please don't have anything in this. I have to ask the waiter multiple times. There's been so many times where I've been like, is there nuts in this? They're like, no, bring it out, eat it, almost die. Like I'm wow. on Cooking Abbott. peanut oil. I'm like right. on Abbott Kenny, like sprinting to CVS to get Benadryl because I didn't have an EpiPen. I like am on the floor of the Benadryl, ripping out Benadryl on my knees, like not buying it. I'm just like shoving it down <laughs> my throat. Oh my How many times has that happened where you've had Close calls? Way too many times. Damn. Actually, going into anaphylactic shock is the most painful experience I've ever had in my life. Like, more than breaking bones. Like, I broke my shin bone. That was pretty bad. But going to anaphylactic shock, like, it's what exactly? What, is it, like, what does it feel like? What is it? So my throat closes, my eyes swell shut, my mouth swells, and all my, like, nervous system is just shuts down. Um, oh. And I start throwing up while my throat is closed. Oh! So it just like goes it's up like, and comes it, down? It, it, no, it like rips through my esophagus. Oh my god! And so I start bleeding. So I'm like, literally, I know this is so gross, like trigger warning, throwing up blood, throwing up vomit, can't see anything, can't breathe. All from a nut. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. How long do you have to get something in your system before it gets like completely Five unbearable minutes. like that? Five minutes. Wow. Five minutes. I'd be scared every day. Oh, grab That's... that EpiPen. Are you <laughs> yeah, kidding you, me? Yeah, I think the EpiPen should be on you on, at yeah. all times. Do you like the smell of nuts? Or is no. <laughs> he goes, are like, you Do you wish to... you could have them? He goes, are you allergic to all nuts? <laughs> <laughs> but like if you smell it, you're like, oh, that smells yes. good. What is that? It's like, oh, this is. Never. These are nuts. Like that smell smells like poison. traumatic. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's the trauma. I don't think, I I don't think that yeah. smells good to her anymore. No, it's so bad. But the only thing that's nuts that smells good is candied almonds. Is that what it is? Okay. Candy oh, oh like, and you yeah. smell those at, at like an amusement game? park? Oh, yeah. Those yeah. smell really good. Yeah. Do you want to talk about your uh, your scary airline oh, um, yeah. situation? Um, I was flying to South Africa, Uh huh. which is a long ass flight. <laughs> flying from LA to London and then going to South Africa. So the flight to London is like 13 hours and you're flying oh, over the ocean. I'm scared. This is already, no a, this is already a horror <laughs> movie. Horror movie. Horrors. Get on, like how you were asking, you're like, shouldn't they be aware of that? Like, it's literally, I don't know, airlines just don't give a fuck. They are passing out. They don't do it anymore. I haven't seen nuts on an airline for the past year. But the That's first true. three years I was flying, it was like, you could tell them that you had an allergy and they're like, okay, we just won't serve it to you. I'm like, I've just, I just don't feel like that works. Like, I'm not airborne, but if someone was airborne, how would that even work? Right? It just, yeah. They accidentally, like, there's so many people on a flight, so many flight attendants. I asked her, I was like, they were serving the meals because it's a long flight. And I was like, is there anything in this? Did you guys know that pesto is made out of nuts? Yeah. yeah. It's pine pine nuts. nuts. Oh my God. I can't believe you guys knew that because yeah. nobody ever knows well, that. Well, I make it. So I didn't think. I didn't think. Italian. I didn't think. Italian, yeah. I didn't think all pesto was made out of pine nuts. I thought yeah. some pestos were like had pine nuts in it.
I feel like recently they started making it without nuts because they were like, like realized like, oh, this is a huge problem. Yeah. <laughs> but they served me a meal with pesto in it. I'm sitting next to two people. I'm by myself, like on this flight with no one that I know. <laughs> Boy. 13 hour flight. I oh eat this meal oh and I'm God. like, oh no. I'm like, fuck. Like, this is really bad. Didn't know what to do. Didn't have my EpiPen. Didn't have any Benadryl on me. I had no medicine, like nothing to help me. At this time, I, was, I think I was 18 flying to South Africa. So I didn't have enough money to afford an EpiPen because EpiPens are actually like $1,500. What? what? Why aren't they free? Wait, that, how they for free? A, pack of, a pack of what? Like it's like one of them. That is insane. What the fuck? That's so messed up. I don't think they're that expensive anymore, but at the time, Something wow. fucked up happened and there was a major recall on EpiPens because the company producing them started watering down the fluid inside to sell more and they weren't working. That is, How can that is so fucked. So there was like eight kids that died because they used EpiPens that didn't work. So there was a huge oh recall. My God. And there was a shortage of EpiPens. So they were like $1,500 in the United States. I had no insurance. I couldn't get one. On this plane, as I get up to sprint to the bathroom, the whole crew is like, we need you to be seated. There's about to be turbulence. The flight attendant was I'm like, dying. you need to sit down. And I was like, no, I need to go to the bathroom. And she's like, please sit down. I was like, absolutely not. So I like push past her and I'm like low key sprinting to the back of this airplane. All of a sudden the plane goes, Khoo! drops like 10 feet. What? I'm standing, I'm floating. <laughs> like it drops oh it up literally Oh my like, God. While I, your throat's closing. <laughs> what a I nightmare. Breathe. I grab a bald guy's head for balance. I was like, here we go. <laughs> Kept sprinting to the back after it leveled out. Closed the door, locked it. And uh, cause I knew that all the flight attendants were gonna be like, what the fuck are you doing? They were like banging on the door. My throat's closing. I'm like, I'm gonna die. I was like, I'm gonna die. So alone. you went to the bathroom mainly because of the puke, right? Yes. And I was trying to make myself throw up. So I was like shoving my fingers right. down my closing Closed throat. throat. Oh fuck. And uh, I thought I was gonna die. So I started recording a video in the bath. <laughs> Saying goodbye to and everybody. We no. actually have it right here. No, I fucking wish, that'd be so embarrassing. Uh, but then I was like, maybe I was like, okay. That's. I was like, I gotta do something. So I opened the door and I told the flight attendants what was going on and they're like, I already knew this, but they're not legally able to administer any type of medicine. They don't have EpiPens, they don't have anything like that. Like, so they, so they had to call for a doctor on board. They're like, is anyone? <laughs> da, 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 da. Someone had Benadryl, got their Benadryl, took like six of them in like a line and I sh like shoved it down my esophagus, which closed or it relaxed my throat. That's the only thing that it helps with. It stops the swelling. The flight attendants, Okay, have you ever taken like one Benadryl, two Benadryl? I, oh yeah. I don't, I don't know what, it, I forget what it feels like. Oh. It makes you drowsy? <laughs> I don't know, you start seeing spiders. The hat man will come visit <laughs> you. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, the fucking boogie monster. Yeah. You see shit on Benadryl? If you take a ton, yeah. Don't tell Zane that, he's gonna fucking, <laughs> he's gonna be at CBS <laughs> tonight. I'm having a visitor oh, tonight. I wanna see the hat man. <laughs> no, you don't. I got allergies. You'll feel like there's bugs crawling all over you. I've looked into oh, like, like what it is like. Uh, the hat Hat man? The hat man. I would say shit just starts to get really wavy. <laughs> well, yeah, and you're on an airplane, so that just sounds really like a bad time. Yeah, I mean, I fall asleep after taking like two Benadryl in like 30 minutes, so, and I was in a severe amount of pain, so I didn't fall asleep. I took six mm. Benadryl and was awake. They sat me next to the two people. I was like, can I lay down somewhere? I was like, this exit row is open, like this whole exit, like they're like, sorry, like it's illegal to. Do they not understand? Do they have any sympathy towards no. what's happening? Do they not understand you're, you're like dying of an allergic reaction? Did they, did they not take you seriously? Is that what it was? Because no, they, I feel like if they knew how serious this is, they would have been like, yes, anything, whatever you need. No, they did. That's the crazy part. They knew. I'm like, this must be something that you deal with on a pretty consistent this basis. This better not been JetBlue. Uh uh. This it was an international airline. Okay, what was it? It was good. British Airways. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> It's a Spirit Airlines. That's some shit they'd pull. They make you pay. Yeah, <laughs> it's actually twenty dollars a Benadryl. Yeah. To use our doctors on site is a hundred dollars a month.